yeah, nothing too noteworthy. And then there is a his own car in San Diego. Alexis Roche is back in the co-main, but then Jojo Diaz and William Zapata. That's actually a pretty interesting fight. So William Zapata was so highly regarded mm -hmm. as a prospect. Mm -hmm. And then he's had some mm -hmm. really, really interesting fights. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we watched his maybe his second to last fight. Yeah. Where he like just dropped getting, the guy, yeah. but then he got dropped. Getting hit, and yeah. Fell, and yeah. then I think he got a stoppage. But uh, Jojo Diaz is a very good fighter. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure he's the elite, elite, elite. But I think he's still a got a, a lot left in the tank, though. I could yeah. be wrong, but I yeah. think that Jojo has still has a lot left in the tank. Yeah, and this is at this is at 35. Yeah, which Jojo, as we know, came up from uh, mm -hmm. featherweight, I think. Mm -hmm. But it's an interesting fight. I'm. So Peyton's got to be on his P's and Q's because Jojo's a yeah, he's a skilled tactical fighter, and if anything, he's gonna keep coming forward. I would say one step behind where he once yeah. was, which isn't a which isn't that's really not yeah. bad at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So is it Jojo Diaz that your dad has like holds he, in like an extremely he, high regard? I, I, I don't know about now, but As, yeah, like back like in the coming, day, I yeah, your dad mentioned, yeah, he's Diaz, 12, like, 2012 Olympian, and yeah. my dad was like, he's the guy. Yeah. He's like he said, hey, yeah, we we already we've already determined that uh, Errol Smith Jr. is going to be the guy. Yeah, but the guy that nobody's really talking about is going to be the guy Jojo, is yeah. Jojo. And yeah. Jojo had a has had a good has career. had a really good career. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So I think Zapata's not going to be in a boring fight. I don't remember Jojo Diaz really being in a boring fight. He was certainly in an awkward fight against Javier Fortuna, but yeah. Um yeah, that should be an interesting one. Then like I said Rocha's on the undercard.